Hey everyone, it's uh, Flash here for a review of uh, some triathlon uh, cycling shoes. The Mavic Cosmic uh, SLs, which I got uh, about six months ago or so on sale. Um, I believe there's a newer model that, that Mavic has come out with, so you can probably get this at a decent price. reason I'm uh, sharing this video is simply had a couple of questions from friends saying, why haven't you gone to a tri shoe? Why do you still use a road shoe? Well, the truth is I had found finally my road shoe after uh, having tried several of them. The Italian handmade cities uh, road shoe, not a tri shoe, but super solid, uh, very firm carbon uh, outsole, uh, double boas, uh, perforations on this particular model, which I did a review of, so I'm not going to go into any great detail. But once you find a, a shoe that you love, you want to stick to it. So I've used these for some triathlons and haven't been disappointed. Uh, it does take a little bit more time to uh, to put it on and to fasten the uh, the proprietary uh, boa uh, like uh, cables, and I use a sock on it as well. But I was curious to know if I would be able to save some time in transition, maybe consider doing some flying mounts. And of course, the advantage of the tri shoe, a lot of them you can use without socks. These ones for sure. And uh, they're faster. Uh, you might see here on the strap, there's these two little notches. I don't know. Can you see them? No, here we go. So you have these two little notches here that when you uh, basically hook them onto this little, uh, what do you call this? strap holder I guess it keeps the shoe wide open so when you're um, if you're doing a flying mount and you've got these already on your pedals you can appreciate that it's quite easy to slip the foot in really quickly and then it's a snap to just put the, uh, the velcro in. so a couple of hesitations now I've done a review already of the physique trans zero if you google right now best triathlon uh, shoe uh, it just goes to show you no matter what people say, uh, no matter what rates top number one, and we don't even know how these Google reviews really work, right? How much of it is is uh, manipulated, but uh, I went with it. I went with the, the Physique Trend Zero, spent a fortune, ordered them from the UK, ordered half a size down, and then I have a review specifically on that as well if you're curious, and there was too much heel slippage and they weren't comfortable. They did not give me that snugness either, and I thought they were fantastic looking shoes, um, bit the bullet, spent the money, and then ended up having to return them. In this case, they were on sale, so I took another chance. My hesitations were uh, twofold, basically. Would I have enough of a energy transfer uh, in a carbon plate such as what I get out of my road shoe? That was my first consideration. My second consideration is given how open it is, right? Uh, and I can use the socklets, by the way, because it's so comfortable. They're literally like slippers. Um, my, so my second consideration was, will something like one single Velcro strap, even if it is wide, really give me that snug fit that I'm used to on you know, a double boa road shoe? So I didn't want to compromise the snugness, which gives you that confidence your foot's not moving around inside. And do I have enough um, uh, with, uh, with the outsole, do I have enough um, basically energy transfer in a carbon plated outsole? The answer is yes on both counts. Good transfer, nice and firm outsole, super comfortable. And um, the single Velcro strap does the trick. Uh, I was quite surprised, pleasantly surprised, needless to say. Um, I may not be a fan of yellow. I don't know if they have any other colors. Uh, yeah, I think they do actually. Uh, that's it in a nutshell. Happy I made the decision. Looking forward to practicing my flying mounts. I'm not gonna be saving five minutes on my transitions. But I'm confident now, as a lot of people have told me, quit worrying about it. There's a reason why so many people use triathlon shoes and not road shoes. Uh, I've got both now, and uh, depending on what I want to go with uh, for longer triathlons, I may still stick with the road shoe, maybe for the shorter distances. I don't know, Olympic or half irons. I can, I can now go for, um, go for my new Mavics. Hope this helps. I hope the views were helpful as well. You know, it looks a bit more ballet slipper-like, I'll tell you. It's certainly uh, quite narrow. I've got, by the way, an average foot, not particularly narrow or wide, fits like a glove. If you have a super wide foot, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it would be a bit narrow for you, but it, it seems true to size as well, okay? Hope this was helpful. Uh, all the best, take care.